All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is my first spear kill on the Free State Farm, Grassmere. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful porcupine. And I killed it with my own my own homemade spear. But uh, yeah, these guys, there are a few too many of them on our Free State Farm, so we're having to reduce numbers. And rather than doing it with a tutu or with a rifle, I've decided to go ahead and do a few spear kills. Um, so I'm gonna go out again and try it tonight. Um, I'll show you the footage of the the two I missed and of course this one you're okay. looking at about 10 15 kilograms for a porcupine like this and uh, it's well it's a beautiful animal to take down with nothing but a spear and um, definitely not the biggest thing you can kill with a spear but yeah awesome awesome animal all right so if you also have a look at these quills they're not um, they're not like your overseas porcupine um, you're looking at uh, doesn't have any bobs or anything but the bacteria on the quills will cause serious infection if you do end up getting one inside inside your leg or anything but very very beautiful a lot of people use them for decorations at weddings and stuff um, and there's actually quite a market for for the quills um, in South Africa but yeah there's a very beautiful beautiful big mane look at this lovely lovely crest so usually this is all white unfortunately it's uh, got a bit of blood in it oh. so it's uh, you can't really see it so nicely but um, look at that look at that mate so last night when I was hunting this guy um, unfortunately I hit time lapse so the hunt is done in fast motion um, but uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it you're gonna drive Ivan okay. you're gonna drive I'm gonna grab my spear I'm really, really stoked. First porcupine with a spear, and that spearhead is almost the same size as my hand, which is awesome. Homemade spear, and one less porcupine. Got those teeth, nice big rodent teeth. And uh, yeah, this is the biggest rodent we have in South Africa, or in Africa. Um, very, very nice meat. Uh, I'll maybe make it uh, clean and cook. And then the symbol of South Africa. Or something that everybody always says is a symbol of South Africa. Look at those porcupine quills. They're beautiful, beautiful quills. So yeah, going to load this guy up. And tomorrow morning I'll take some photos with him. And then we can clean him and cook him. Run! I've got my camera going. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Pasha, 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 let me do it. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh! What a throw was that? <sighs> yes, the daisy. Okay, hold that. Okay, we hold the GoPro. So, this thing is still alive. I don't want it to tear out. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, you're right. <laughs> Did you get this thing full filming or not? Hey? Did you get this thing filming or not? No. I don't even know if the spears. Yeah, shame. You have a knife? I don't have a knife, no. Just uh, watch yourself. Yeah, you do this. Do this. Oh man. Oh, it's gonna. Okay, all right. Good mind, it's feisty. 
Laksana. Okay. And that's the end of that. Yes, the daisy. And one last one, just to finish them off. Okay. So I'm not going to put them in the cruiser, unfortunately. Oh, there we are. I'll come and fetch them with the bucky later. Brutal! So this is the porcupine that we got last night. Um, as you saw the footage of me trying to stab it in that hole over there. Check that out. It's a much younger porcupine than the first one, but uh, at least this time I didn't hit time lapse. And uh, yeah, got him quite nicely. Um, you can see that nice white patch on the throat. The older ones don't have that rodent teeth. These are just big rodents, guys. They're nothing, nothing else about them. Um, but this spear is lethal. Uh, I'm so enjoying this spear. Um, you'll see on the video last night how I took this guy down. Um, the most impressive thing is you couldn't actually see it in the footage. What happened was it ran off over here and then what I did was it jumped into this hole and as it jumped I just flung the spear down into the hole and I nabbed it just as it was disappearing into this, this side over here. So absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, one of the best throws I think I've ever done with a spear. And the reason we're taking them out, it's pretty plain here. This is a road, okay? And as this hole keeps on collapsing, it just keeps on eating into our road. So we're actually trying to close these holes down and of course reduce number of porcupine. So for those who want to watch more videos just like this via Hunting for Hearts, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and I'll be bringing you more content weekly.